Hey, what is happening guys? Rules for Rubbles here, and this is going to be your absolute beginner's guide to your first Steam It post. So I've seen a lot of you guys uh, here from YouTube are following me on over to Steam It. I know some of you guys were already over there, uh, but for any of you guys who are either just in the process of making the move over there or who have maybe set up accounts and have not yet posted anything, uh, you may be a little bit confused by the formatting. Um, it threw me off a little, little bit at first as well as how to do the tags. So one interesting thing that we have to differentiate in terms of like how this is different than writing on Blogger or WordPress is there's no buttons here for italics, bold, h1 tags, h2 tags, h3 tags, etc. Uh, I believe what they refer to it as is an HTML editor, uh, very sim similar to how Reddit is. Reddit doesn't have those buttons, so you're going to have to do, I mean, just for example, if we wanted to make something a header, it would be uh, why dog spin in circles before they poop. Maybe we're doing an interesting kind of science article on why dogs spin in circles before they poop. And the kind of cool thing about Steemit is you can kind of preview what you're doing down below here. So as you can see there, we have uh, an H1 tag or a, a title basically. If we were to delete um, those hashtags, all of a sudden it goes back to regular font, right? Now, if we were to put one asterisk, in front of each one it makes it italic and if we were to put two asterisks in front of each one as you'll see here it makes it bold so that's basically what I'm going to be showing you guys today now uh, if any of you guys are overwhelmed by this you can just hop on over here uh, this website let me take up here uh, app.classer.io and uh, this is basically going to dumb down and turn it into a format that you're more used to uh, so as we can see here they kind of have a, a layout for us I'm going to go ahead and um, get rid of that but okay so hypothetically we would do um, why dogs spin in circles before they poop and if we highlighted that we could turn it into a h2 tag an h1 tag um, or nothing at all but as you can see here this kind of dumps it down and makes it a little bit more like Microsoft Word um, or like Blogger or like WordPress um, if you wanted to add a link you can add links there uh, https www.youtube.com backslash rules for rebels and uh, that will turn it into a link so I will link to this little nice little app here uh, this could be helpful for you for Steemit or Reddit um, if you don't feel like learning all the tags as you can see here basically uh, if we wanted to make a link and you wanted to do it manually what you do here is just bracket there bracket there um, I forget what you call these hoop things but hoop things with the uh, uh, the link within there so this is a, a nice tool to kind of help speed up your writing if you want to use it again I'll link to it in the description box below but going back to steam it uh, we just do our title so uh, why dogs spin in circles before they poop and if we want to do the same thing here we would just do a hashtag why dogs spin in circles before they poop okay and then if we go down there we see that so then maybe I want a subtitle um, the earth's magnetic force and as you can see there we have a subtitle and then dogs like to spin in circles before they poop because of the Earth's magnetic force. Okay, and you know, as you can see here, and, and like, why do we really care about H1 tags, H2 tags, H, H3 tags, etc.? Um, it's really not that important for SEO. I, I don't think SEO is that important to for Steam it. Uh, current, as Steam it grows, it may be more important for like ranking in Google. But as it stands now, it seems like the only people really reading Steam it content are people who are actually already on Steam it. So you, your target audience and everyone who's going to check out your stuff is most likely already on Steam it. But the reason we want to do this is it, it just you know I'm sure when you guys read blog articles and things like that, the easier it is on your eyes. Um, the more likely you are to read and the easier it is to read, um, which is why you'll see people like rather than having huge blocks of just the same text over and over, you might spice things up by putting a quote in like an H2 tag or something like that. Um, as we get a little bit further down here, um, you know, let's see here. Da -da -da. And then if we want to do something in like bold, we could put uh, 
dogs are man's best friend. And we would just do two asterisks, two asterisks. And as you can see there, we have bold. Again, if we wanted to make it italics, we do one asterisk. Um, but this is essentially how you're gonna throw together a post. If you wanna put images in, uh, what you're actually gonna do, it used to be you would actually have to uh, host the image in like IMGUR and then do you know some combination of uh, this HTML code to get it in there. Uh, fortunately, you know now they uh, Steam it actually hosts uh, images. So you can just click select, select your image and it'll plop it right in there. Uh, the one other thing I wanted to show you guys is how to add video. Um, so let's see here. Rules for Rebels. Let's see which one of my videos pops up here. Uh, I'm going to turn the sound off so you guys don't have to listen to me. Uh, five days on Steam. So we'll pick this one here. And you can do this with your own videos as well as other people's videos. Um, you know, don't just repost other people's videos, but, um, you know, if you want to reference somebody else's video and write a blog post in relation to it, you can do that. Uh, so what we're going to do is click the share icon. We're going to click that button that says embed. We're going to copy and paste this. And um, then we're going to come back on over to Steam it. Uh, here's a funny dog in this video. And then we want to put the video below. We just paste that in. And they already have, uh, I forget what you call these little backwards arrows, forward arrows, uh, but they already have everything coded there. Um, so it's going to plop it right in here. So again, just to recap, we have uh, one hashtag for like a, an H1 tag, two hashtags for a, uh, you know, subtitle. We have uh, two asterisks for bold, one for italics, which I didn't do here. And uh, then we just dropped in the code for the video. And that plops the video right here. If we wanted to upload, I'm not gonna show you guys how to upload. I mean, it's as simple as clicking this and selecting the file. Um, let's see, what else do we have to show you? So with tags, I was kind of confused. Sometimes you'll separate these by commas. Now this one's about dogs. So a lot of times what I'll do is head on over to steamit.com. Now I could put anything here. I could put dog pets, bulldog, and some of, you know, you can type in any word. It doesn't have to be an already set category, but you're probably going to get more views if you are in a category that's already set. So what we're going to do is, I don't know why it's acting like I'm not logged in. No, let me pause the video and log in. Okay, guys, so I'm back. And so these are like some of the most popular categories, some of the main categories. We can click uh, show more topics and see even more. Uh, I'm going to go back on over here. So ideally, you know, if it fits, I would try to find something here. So, I mean, there's not a category that says dogs, uh, but I believe there is typically one that says animals. So even though dogs may be more targeted, personally, I would probably put animals because it's, a, um, you know, it's one of the main categories. You're going to get more views. There's more people looking at the animal one. Um, another one is like life, you know, dogs are a part of your life. So, you know, I, I'm going to stretch a little bit to get my, you know, news. Dogs don't really fit in news, but, uh, I would probably do something like, uh, animals, life, pets, dog. Um, dad, I don't even know what else to put bulldogs. Um, now the first one you put is going to be the main category. So, uh, whatever, you know, tag you put first is going to be your main category. That's your thing is, is categorized in. Um, like this one's in Steam Fest, this one's in Airbnb, this one's in Life. Uh, so make sure whatever, you know, the most targeted one or the category you want to be placed in is the first hashtag that, or I'm sorry, the first tag that you put. Again, separate them by commas. If you were going to do something that was multiple words like affiliate marketing, you don't want to separate it with a space because then you're going to have two keywords here of affiliate and marketing as opposed to the keyword affiliate marketing. So don't put spaces uh, for long tail keywords or keywords that contain multiple words. So again, it wouldn't be affiliate marketing. It would be affiliate, oops, sorry. Marketing space, online marketing space, e-com, you know, something like that. Um, and then lastly, the only other thing I, I think I really have to mention, uh, this is click because you wanna upvote your own posts. Um, it's gonna earn you money. The only other thing to really mention on here is the rewards. So by default, uh, you're set to 50%. I always get this messed up. 50% Steam dollars uh, or SBD. Um, and then you're also going to get paid in 50% Steam power. You also have the option of declining a payout, which I'm not sure why you do that. Uh, or you could do 100% power up, which means all your upvotes and stuff like that 
goes to actual Steam power. Now, the difference is uh, Steam back dollars can be instantly traded into Steam, uh, which can then be sent over to another exchange and turned into Bitcoins and cashed out for dollars. So if you want to take your money, uh, you might want to do 50-50 and you'll be able to cash out half your money. The way Steam, uh, Steam Power works is it used to be two years before you could power down and get all your money. I believe with some of the hard forks and things like that that happened, uh, you're now going to be able to get your money in, I think it's 12 weeks. Uh, but So which should you choose, right? If you're wondering, like, which way do I go? Basically, if you are a believer in Steam it, if you think that the uh, Steam cryptocurrency is going to continue to gain in value, if you feel like this platform is going to continue to grow in popularity and you don't need any cash, I would suggest doing 100% Steam Power. If you want to get some of your money out right away, you need you know you need the earnings, um, or you're not really invested for the long term, which you know I don't know why you're on here if you're not invested for the long term. But if that's the case, go 50/50. Um, I, I think most I, I guess I, it seems like about 50/50 the people who power up 100% versus default. There are some strategies about going 50-50 and then trading your Steam back dollars for actual Steam at a time when uh, Steam is very valuable. Some guy was talking to me about that earlier, uh, but I, I'm, I'm just powering up 100% right now. It, it basically gives you, I don't know, I guess stronger SEO. You're going to rank better on here. Your upvotes and things like that are going to have more power to give other people money. And you can also vote on your own comments and give yourself money. I was watching one guy who's uh, kind of seems like one of the kind of godfathers of Steam. He makes a ton of YouTube live streams, very active on stream, and he's like a Jamaican guy. I think he lives in Jamaica. And uh, I don't know, it's got like twists or dreads or something like that, just in case you see him. Um, but what this guy is saying is basically his account is worth $1,000 a day right now because he has so much Steam power that if he upvotes his own comment, he earns, I think it's $100. Oh, yeah, if he upvotes his own comment, he earns $100. He's able to upvote his own comment and give himself, I guess, full strength upvotes 10 times per day. So essentially, he can vote on his own stuff, make $100 for each vote, and make $1,000 per day. Now, it seems like most of the whales, most of the people with a lot of power on here, and I'm getting into some more advanced stuff that I really shouldn't be talking about in this video. We can save that for another one. Uh, but it seems like most of the whales, from what people say, They'll spend 50, you know, they'll basically spend 50% of their power earning for themselves for the day and then 50% for the rest of the community. There was recently a hard fork to where minnows or newer people get more power. Uh, but anyhow, I'm, I'm getting a little bit off topic here. The, the main focus of this was how to put together your first Steam at post. Um, I wouldn't be overly concerned with the formatting. I think content comes first. Uh, make sure you're getting out good quality content and people will enjoy it. But as you get a little bit more used to the platform, as you have a little bit more time on your hands to, uh, um, you know, actually work on the formatting, you know, definitely consider the formatting. I notice on like Reddit, people take like a great sense of pride in how well that they format things. So sometimes you'll see a post that has like all types of charts and graphs and somebody will be like, oh, wow, you know, great formatting. So people really do like good formatting. There are certain ways to code like charts and things like that if you wanted to make some type of chart. Personally, what I would do is probably just make it in Excel or PowerPoint or some other program. Um, make Take a screenshot of it using something like Snagshout or uh, Jing. And then I would basically just put it in as an image as opposed to trying to figure out all the formatting. But again, H1 tags, H2 tags, uh, bold, italics, all this stuff is very easy to do. You want to put in a YouTube video, uh, just get the embed code. But yeah, I mean, this is basically everything you know to put in uh, to throw down your first Steam it post. Uh, really dig in Steam, and I already did one update. I'll do another update soon. But the other day, I earned $75 off one single post. Uh, I think another post got me 25 bucks. I've been uploading Side Hustle uh, Tuesdays and Side Hustle Thursdays on there. Been earning about 10 to $16 per one of those posts. So, uh, so far, it seems like Steam it is earning me a lot more money than like AdSense or something would. Uh, I'm really digging the platform and excited to see where it goes in the future. I'll be making another video uh, in a very new future, uh, very new future, very near future, giving you guys kind of my Steam it goals. Uh, within 30 days, I want to be making $100 a month. And within six months, I'd like to be making $500 a month. I think more realistically, probably within uh, 60 to 90 days, I think I can probably be up to $500 per month. And uh, hopefully this platform just continues to grow. But uh, for all of you guys who've joined me over on Steemit, encourage those of you who, ha who haven't already to get your first post up. Those of you guys who haven't joined me over there, get in now, guys. People are really getting excited about this platform uh, ever since the, I think they call it Hard Fork 19 or whatever it was. Um, apparently that's like 
one of the biggest days in Steemit history thus far. Minnows have a lot more power. Um, you can spread your money around. Other minnows can spread their money around and upvote people. Uh, so really excited about this platform. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have a friend who wants to get on here, you want to get a friend on here, whatever, feel free to share this video with them to get them started. And uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. But uh, that's it for today, guys. I will catch you guys tomorrow for Side Hustle Thursdays.